you wake up tomorrow and find yourself to be a woman, how would you feel? Okay, I hear this young lady right here. She says, I'm already a woman. If you're a woman and you wake up as a woman, you'll feel like a woman. I get it. But how are the men out there? How do you feel? Okay, by the framework of your body's biological composition and emotional abilities, you might feel pride and contempt. That's not what I'm asking for. What I'm asking for is if you become a woman, how would you feel? You'll feel suddenly beautiful, surprisingly intelligent and authentically empathetic. But what you wouldn't have dreamt of being a woman is the fact that you will also start to naturally feel self-doubt and guilt. Greetings to my astounding audience today. Feeling guilty to walk, call in sick to work or feeling guilty to walk away from your sick kiddo to go to work. Does any of that ring a bell? If you're a woman and on top of it, if you're a working woman, or if you understood any of the women in your family, you would know that this guilt is probably the most pronouncing feeling in her. As I grew up, I was stitched together to become this self-made woman. I was the river taking my course to being built the way I am today. But just like the river bifurcates to leave behind a few distributaries, I was also left behind with guilt irrespective of however self-made I am. Few months back, I got freshly deployed into a higher role at work. I had been striving really hard for such an opportunity for almost a year. So finally when I got one, I had to start managing a large team bound to a big contract, all virtually. While a huge learning curve lay ahead of me, my family had other plans. A series of family functions were planned almost on an alternative day basis all through that whole month. Some of which that I could not skip. In fact, I had to host a couple. Now, thanks to this do anything from home opportunity that we all got, I got the confidence to manage work, life and more. The best reflection of this confidence fell on one Wednesday afternoon, which is when I had to take an interview for an external candidate through a video call scheduled by my organization HR and almost at the same time there was this continuous knock on my door by our caterer who had come to serve lunch for our family function and along with it I was also carrying this burden of uneasiness created by a party of 20-30 guests who were waiting in the dining hall upstairs with no food seen anywhere. Now the consequence of the whole episode was the fact that the interview didn't happen that time. The caterer could not deliver the food at the right time and my guests didn't have a host or the food when it was time. Now I sat back to think, why didn't I prioritize in spite of having 10 years of management experience? What I realized was alarming. I cared for my interview, for my candidate and my ethics to the work that I wanted to be present in spite of knowing that I had a team to back me up. I cared for my guests, so I wanted to be present when the lunch was being served even though I knew my family was there to take care of things. I didn't think for a second that I could delegate anything. This is so imbibed in me that I started feeling care can be excruciating. Women are caring, women are nurturing, women are empathetic by default. But aren't these the traits of a born enigmatic leader? Of course. So if women are inborn with these characteristics, we indeed are the best leaders. So let's take the example of our moms to see how good a leader we are. Moms. They are the best example, an epitome of love, care and sympathy. But how many of those most caring moms have you seen building dynasties of their own, leave alone in the society, but at least in their own household? Very few and rare. That's because they only know to embrace us and lead us. But we don't embrace their mistakes. 
if i forget my breakfast my mom feels guilty that she made a mistake of not giving me food if my son does not finish his lunch at school i feel guilty that i made a mistake of not giving him his favorite food this is so much in us we have taken empathy to the most extreme levels possible that we have embraced self doubt self pity and self questioning and thus we haven't been able to build that leader in us last year women's day was celebrated amidst an alarming survey result that came came out and said people don't want to celebrate mothers day anymore because mother children relationships are often complex following this a psychiatry professor at ny presbyterian hospital and school pointed out through his research that often this relationship is filled with ambivalence and goes through periods of tremendous rockiness now tell me is there any soul in this room that hasn't taken their moms for granted any time at all and on the flip side have you ever questioned your dad or your brother no have you seen your brother feeling bad that he was not able to feel, change his his own baby's diapers correctly no have you criticized him with words like now you're a dad why can't you even do that largely no so we as children and society at large have been injecting the self doubt into women and making her regret for mistakes that she has never done this is not just the story at home in offices in colleges on road in very many instances women are being teased and criticized and ripped off their knowledge and capabilities i'm no exaggerating a recent study in the us said that of all the party man- managers that were interviewed from a corporate sector two third of the men managers had children while only one third of the women marine managers had children a fortune 500 catalyst report of 2019 shows that a mere 6.5% of such company ceos are women and a woefully small 23% of the female working population gets to the board of directors of such companies notably women are not progressing to balance out their professional growth or their personal fulfillment and we are responsible because we don't treat men and women equally what we do is give her a special status a special reservation a quota to just pacify her and say that she's been treated royally and i say put her on the same table as you are so my dear friends what i ask you is that today we have all grown up thinking and seeing women being that model and epitome of loving caring taking care of everything we have seen the societal stigmatization of women like that when i was a kid i have seen this ad where a woman had 10 hands standing like ma durga with 10 different breakfast dishes in her hand showing that her every family member wanted separate separate dishes admit it that's how we've seen her and grown up now it will take years and years to erase and banish those boundaries of inequalities that we have drawn from the past the mere women's day campaign or voicing out slogans like break the bias for gender equality she's imperfectly perfect or you can also say share the responsibilities with her all these might not strike a balance to bring in equality i know that the foundation has been laid but the destination is so far away so my only ask to every female woman out there is including my own self for that matter you be your own change agent the ladder to your self esteem is right there rise up because even if you fall you know to medicine your wounds and i know that you're not caged but you're still trapped break that mental trap and you will see your silver lining thank you